all them. An update now to a consumer justice investigation that we brought you two weeks ago. A bill that would launch a formal investigation into why the Army gave away hundreds of military dogs has passed the House. Our Kristen said talked to a North Texas soldier fighting to get reunited with his dog. She joins us now with more on what advocates are calling a victory here. Yeah, Gilmo, Ryan Henderson and hundreds of soldiers say they were never given the chance to adopt their military dogs because the Army adopted them out to agencies and families in North Carolina. Since our story aired, the bill that could answer why all of the soldiers weren't contacted first and who is really to blame has passed the House. Now it heads to the Senate. U.S. Representative Richard Hudson, who I flew to D.C. to interview, was one of the co-sponsors of the bill. It says information on the mismanaged adoptions of military working dogs must be released. It also directs the Secretary of the Air Force to provide a detailed report on the adoption application process to the Senate and the House Committees on Armed Services. Now, Ryan Henderson lives in Arlington. His dog, Satan, was adopted out to a family in North Carolina. They say they will not give the dog back. We're making headway. Obviously, somebody's listening to us. Somebody with some authority and, and the ability to maybe make things happen is listening to us. Uh, why don't we turn it up a little bit more? I also have some new information for you tonight. A Mansfield rescue group, DFW Canines for Veterans, contacted us and Ryan after my story aired. Now, they offered to pair Ryan with a trained service dog while he was touched by their offer. He's declined for now, hoping that he'll be reunited with his own military, do military dog. But Gilma, it's something that he may do down the road if that reunion never happens. Thank you, Kristen. I know you're going to be staying on top Absolutely. of this story.